my name is Mark Silcox. I'm from Ireland. Uh, I am married. I'm married. Give me a chance if you're married. It's not a popular option. Uh, I married to an Indian lady for 22 years. Thank you. They say, whatever you decide to do in your life, it takes 10 years to be perfect. And since last 22 years, I'm learning Indian accent. <laughs> My original Irish accent was very sexy. Uh, all, the, all the women around me used to go crazy. Uh, they used to bring chocolate and fresh cream <laughs> to rub all over my body. And that was very disruptive for me. Because all my white shirt got ruined with chocolate. And when I was covered with fresh cream, uh, I couldn't use a photocopier. <laughs> so I started learning Indian accent. Uh, things are now under control. Uh, whenever ladies talk to me now, I know exactly what they want. Uh, they have problem in their laptops. There's a moment in every comedian's life when they make a decision to become a stand-up comedian. Uh, for some people, it's obvious uh, they are always surrounded by other people and they are very talkative. And uh, they, they always make them laugh. And they have large collection of similes and metaphors. <laughs> and uh, they have a large collection of uh, t-shirts, colorful t-shirts with the opinion quotations. <laughs> and colorful, colorful trainers, colorful trainers. And they have uh, lots of experience of all kind of sexual activities <laughs> and STDs. Uh, but my moment of decision came when I was watching a documentary, and it was about stand-up comedy. And the professor was claiming that uh, you don't have to be born funny to become a stand-up comedian. Uh, you can learn techniques in the classrooms. Uh, so I did that course. <laughs> and that course has changed my life. The course was about 12 weeks long. And there were lots of worksheets. I completed all the worksheets. <laughs> and assignments, there were assignments, four or five assignments. I submitted them on time. <laughs> and I got the good grade uh, because I'm an academic. <laughs> and you should have seen my final presentation I did in PowerPoint. Uh, I used all the features of PowerPoint like flying text, rotating text, videos, animation, uh, arrows, larger than life arrows, uh, paragraph with bullets, paragraph with numbers, paragraph without bullet and numbers. You know when slide breaks down into pieces and disappears? I use that slide transition effect with broken glass sound effect. And that, that was the best presentation in the whole group. <laughs> to engage that audience in your routine, you need a lot of material, which is like vivid description of all kinds of sexual activities. <laughs> and that's my speciality. <laughs> but uh, if, uh, if the show is starting decent time, for example, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock means your audience are sober. Uh, they are comedy savvy audience. Uh, they understand how comedy works. They support all kind of uh, act on the stage. They might be a juggler, magician, ukulele players. Uh, you support them all because you are intelligent people. You are, you are beautiful, hardworking, honest people. <laughs> and respond very well to a little bit of flattery. <laughs> but here I have a full freedom of speech because stand-up comedy is the celebration of freedom of speech. Uh, I'm supposed to come here and tell you some jokes, but I haven't told you any joke. <laughs> and nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so that's my time. Uh, thank you for supporting live comedy.